Hi, I'm David Peterson. I've recently illustrated an edition of Kenneth Graham's classic Wind in the Willows. To help me illustrate that, I built a few models to visualize the world and some settings that I would have to be drawing over and over. Uh, I wanted to share Toad's Caravan. This is a model that is entirely made out of basswood. Uh, before Toad gets on his motor car quest and his motor car fixation, um, he has a moment where he's all about caravanning, uh, life on the road. So uh, this this model, this, this caravan was going to have to appear in um, three or four illustrations in the book. So I thought it would make sense to make a model of it. I did uh, due diligence and looked at a lot of different caravans uh, using Google image searching and, and researching online and, and also looking at all the various other illustrators of Wind in the Willows and seeing what they had come up with. And I came up with kind of a, a, an amalgam, the, the shape, the size, the proportions that uh, I liked from each of those and put them together in the one that made sense with me, along with some of my own, uh, you know, tastes. Um, it's enti entirely made out of basswood, which is a hobby wood that uh, a lot of people use for crafting dollhouses. Um, you can buy it like lumber with very specific measurements and tolerances in mind. I get mine from not a hobby shop, but just from the general hardware store. My hardware store has them in, uh, in kind of grab bags with uh, a mixed assortment of sizes, and then I just use whatever's available to me and, and kind of make it work. Uh, the curved roof... Uh, was made by taking um, a sheet of what would normally be used for like dollhouse flooring, um, soaking it until it was just saturated with water, and then putting it onto a, uh, a cardboard mailing tube, a large cardboard mailing tube, and just rubber banding the heck out of it all the way down. And I had a very long sheet and was able to cut just this dimension for the roof. Um, I was able to use a smaller section for the upper roof, and I was also able to use some for the bottom for leaf springs for the suspension. Now, ultimately, for an illustration model, whether it's uh, suspended properly or not, uh, and that the springs actually work, um, is irrelevant. It, it was a, a fun thing to be able to brag that I had done that. Um, but mainly it's because at one point this this uh, this caravan gets flipped over, and, and the illustration was gonna have to show the underside. Instead of faking the underside and what it actually looked like, through some Google reference and some actual hands-on knowledge of how to make a working suspension for uh, a caravan, when I did show the caravan flipped over and on its side, I know that my drawing is roughly accurate. It, it works enough to be believed. Um, to make the wheels, I took a, a thicker sheet of that same basswood and I, using a hole saw, cut the um, outer diameter first and then I had a, a disc and uh, with a hole in it to use as a guide for where absolute center was. And I drilled out the inner diameter. Uh, to, to make it an actual wheel, I took a, a, a piece of dowel, a ribbed piece of dowel, which is the kind that you use when joining pieces of wood together. Um, and I measured out uh, using those notches um, and even spacing. And I drilled holes and used very decorative toothpicks as my spokes. Um, they're attached to the wheel just with glue, just with a super glue. Um, nothing, they're not drilled in this way at all. Uh, it just had to be enough to let it sit on its own. Um, I drew in some of the details on the door, on the window uh, panes for the mullions and the, uh, the shutters. I also made a ladder that hooks onto the back for when the caravan is supposedly moving. But when it's stopped for a, a camp out, I just dropped the ladder. When it's stopped for a camp out, it hooks onto the front so that you can access the, uh, the inside of the caravan. The wheels and any other moving part, like these, uh, these long rods that go to the, uh, up to the horse's rigging, I, I don't know the, the technical term, but all of those are just pivoted with a nail. Uh, for the wheels, it's a, a nail that I trimmed the head off of and, and put it into the uh, inside side of the, uh, of the dowel, of the ribbed dowel. But there you have it. That is Toad's Caravan uh, from an early chapter of Wind in the Willows. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope that you enjoy my edition of Wind in the Willows.
Thanks for watching.